Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerreviews.com. We've got another one of our fun beer fact videos. This is a, kind of a complicated one. Uh, this is uh, what we're going to talk about on this video is what is the Plato scale? So you'll see a lot of brewing, brewing websites that will put the Plato scale uh, uh, as part of their description of the beer. And it, it's got a long history behind it. Um, you know, beer brewing has been around for hundreds, if not thousands, of years. Some will argue, and you know, there, there's always been ways of measuring th certain things, and that is, that is the case with the Plato scale. So the, the definition of the Plato scale, it's an empirically derived hydrometer scale that measures the density of the beer wort in terms of percent of extract by weight. All right. That was a big mouthful and a, and a head full. So it is the density of the wart. So at, during the process, during it's the density of that in terms of the percent of ex, extract by weight. So for example, it says a scale expresses the density as the percentage of sucrose, sugar, by weight. So a wart measured at 12 degrees Plato has the same density as a water sucrose sol solution containing 12% sucrose by weight, denoted as 12%. So, what that means, in a big huge nutshell and bringing it all together, if you see a Plato scale of 12%, that is the sugar, the sucrose density by weight in that concentrated solution. And in, in, in this case, it's the wart of the beer. So it's the, the what I call the fun part of the beer before it uh, you know, goes through the, the beauty of um, you know, being bottled and carbon, carbonized and all that stuff. Um, it was developed back in 1843 by a Bohemian scientist, Carl Bailing. Uh, also, also, well known, also, well, also helped with Simon Act, A-C-K, -A -C and later improved by the German Fritz Plato. This is why it's called the Plato scale. So, for the brewer, it has an advantage over specific gravity in that it expresses the measurement in terms of the amount of fermentable material. That's important. So, it's a little bit more specific than specific gravity because that's the actual amount of stuff, the amount of beer product that you can ferment to make the final product. So, hope that made sense. Uh, degrees Plato are more popular in this is important. Degrees plate are more popular in Central European brewing and occasionally feature in some some of the beer names from the uh, Czech Republic and S Slovakian Republic. Um, usually, uh, it says the relationship between Plato degree and specific gra gravity is not linear, but you can approximate that one degree Plato equals four brewer points. Thus. To specific gravity. Thus, 12 degrees Plato responds to essentially a specific gravity of 1.048. That's complicated, not worth getting into. So we'll do a specific gravity later. But basically, it is the, um, the uh, a, a measurement of the sugar by weight in the in the beer wort that can be obviously manufactured for the later yumming yummy consumption process. So, you see, you, see, you do see Plato um, uh, scales on a lot of um, of the micro beers uh, that we review on our website. It's becoming a lot more common. I think it's just uh, another kind of what I call my beer fun fact. It's just another little fun fact that the breweries are putting on their websites and a lot of people have no clue what it means. But in terms of taste and and clarity and carbonization and all the other fun stuff, it's really not necessary to know uh, picking out a beer if the Plato degree is 12 or not. I don't think that really uh, would affect most people in their decision process of purchasing a beer. It's just kind of a nice to know. And if you do brew beer um, and you want to replicate that beer again and again and again and again, I think it's very important to know it so that you can re replicate a product accurately. So, Hope that helps. That's our Plato scale explanation and fun fact. Thank you for watching microbeerreviews.com. Check back again real soon. Don't forget to check out our website and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you again real soon.